My name is Sarah Heineman. I go to Wanaki High School, and this is my prep profile. Well, Sarah, you've had a very interesting school year uh, from track to cross country. You made it to state in both events. How cool was that your senior year? That was awesome. It was a cool experience, and I worked hard to make it there, so I was really glad I did. What's the difference between the two sports for you, uh, when, especially at the state level? You know, one it's kind of nuts with all the runners there, but then track is a little different too because of all the different events. Right, um, cross country the the race is a little more spread out. It seems like people are at different levels and there's different packs. Whereas track, everybody's right with each other for most of the race, and or you're on each other's heels racing. What was uh, like for you uh, running in this area, the Madison area, just an outstanding at state in both events, both um, the track and cross country. Do you have any rivalries or people that you really look forward to running against? I really like running against Madison West. They have a lot of good runners, and it's always a challenge running against them. And then now you go into college, and you'll see some of them down the road too, won't you? Yeah, hopefully I will. Um, for you, how difficult is it to be a multiple sport athlete? Now, running is kind of similar, but mm -hmm. still takes up an awful lot of time uh, throughout the school year. Yeah, you definitely have to be working all year, training in the off-seasons in order to be in shape for both. Did you ever do a winter sport, or did you do like a running club? or? Um, in the winter, I play indoor soccer, just for fun, and it's like a Saturday thing. You just play a game. <laughs> so you're doing something running, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for you, uh, it's, I wish I could compete arm wrestling. What's that? <laughs> I don't know. It's something totally different than what runners can do, and I think that'd be fun. fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, so your, um, as far as your most inspirational teammate, Taylor Zimbrick. Yeah, um, Taylor and I have been good buddies running, and she's she's always been work, working hard, showing up to practice with a great attitude, and it's just really great to have her on the team. And then your role models, your parents, uh, how important have they been to you being able to do what you've done in high school? They've been really supportive and really great to me, telling me to achieve my goals and that sort of thing. Now you say you started out with soccer, but how did you kind of gravitate toward running? How did that become part of your life? Well, in sixth grade, I the only sport offered at my school was cross country, so I decided to try it. And I just fell in love with running from there and decided to take that up instead. Now, uh, you've uh, it said words to live by. Life is an attitude. <laughs> That's your dad? <laughs> That's what my dad says. Um, I've moved in my life and gone through various things, and he just told me to stay positive. And life's an attitude. Life's what you make it. Yeah, I know you had uh, a little bit of a setback during one of the meets during your track season, something, and, and your whole attitude was you just have to learn and move on. Is that what sports have you really gotten out of it? Uh, the, I guess the life lessons that are going to help you down the road? Yeah, just move on from any mistakes that you make. Don't dwell on what may happen because there's always going to be another race to run and always going to be another day. Yeah, for you to be able to finish your, your running, uh, I think was it was uh, at regionals, was here at Wanakee. I know Road to State, what was that like to have one last meet here? And, and uh, Just the whole atmosphere, knowing so much was important in it, too. Yeah, I I don't know. I guess I'm going to miss running on this track. It was cool that our last our regionals was here. Uh, let me see here. Favorite movie, Bridesmaids? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually went to see that one with Taylor in theaters. Okay. <laughs> And it's a uh, favorite place to visit any beach, but you'd like to go to Ireland, Spain, and Texas. How, why those places? Um, Ireland, because one of my close friends is from Ireland, and it's just a pretty country. Spain, I'd like to work on my Spanish-speaking skills. And Texas, I don't know. I want to find out if everything is actually bigger in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say, right? Yeah, that's what they say. Um, favorite athlete, Susie Favor Hamilton. I know Susie pretty well. How do you understand? Have you read about her history and where she came from and how she became such a great runner? A little bit of it, yeah. And I have one of her books on nutrition, and she's just a very accomplished runner, and she's someone to look up to. Have you had a chance to meet her? No. Okay, yeah. <laughs> going to Wisconsin, I'm sure you'll get a chance to Hopefully. down the road. Yeah, it's the other thing, being able to uh, run at, at the University of Wisconsin. For you, is that something you've always looked at? Was that a school that was on your list? And what was it like when you got an offer to, to, to go compete there? 
Um, I've always looked at Madison just to go to because of the engineering program. And once I started to enjoy running and went to a couple of running camps there, it was something I wanted to do there was running. And it's really cool that I actually can. And then when did uh, they offer, uh, they want, they tell you they wanted you to come there? Um, I contacted the coach last summer and then I went on an official visit and we just kind of went from there. And then you had a big signing, what was it, do you remember that signing <laughs> ceremony you had here? Yeah. Uh, football and was it, I think was there a swimmer in there too? Football and soccer. Soccer, that was it. Uh, at the, you look at something like that for Wanakee, and then you mentioned one of the things you like is the success in sports here. Yeah. What's the culture like? Does it start with maybe football or, or cross country in the fall, and the other sports kind of pick up on that? On the success. Uh, on the success, you think that's how kind of the other programs kind of feed off that? Yeah, probably. And I don't know. A lot of people are just pushing hard to do well. I guess. You spend some time <laughs> in the weight room too. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's more the football players' domain though, right yeah. now. Yeah. Um, a favorite, it's a favorite opponent was Madison West. Um, any um, particular runners uh, that you can remember or you think you might try to keep in touch with that you ran either with or down the road in high school? I don't know. I, I never really got that close to a lot of my opponents, but maybe I'll just keep tabs on them, see how they're doing. Like Olivia Pratt or Liz Burkholz, for example. I don't know. Well, no, this is at Minnesota. Right. <laughs> Olivia, I think, is going to uh, Butler. Yeah, I think so. But then Elena Barham is going to Northwestern, so maybe you see her. And yeah. That, you think that'll be kind of cool to see some of those people down the road? Yeah. They're all very great people, so. Well, that, is that, that's kind of the nature, I think, of the distance running, that it's pretty competitive, but it's still uh, kind of a close-knit family, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, people are still really friendly. Uh, said so you wish you could meet Oprah. All right, yeah. What do you like about Oprah? <laughs> Um, my, my nanny growing up used to always watch Oprah, and I would watch it with her, and I just think she's very inspiring and very cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, at Kevin, you said you take play soccer. Uh, volunteer with Foods for Kids. What was that? Food for Kids is an organization where we pack dry food to send to kids who need it around the world and keep them fed. Okay. So. Any other volunteer work you do that uh, you think had an impact on you through National Honor Society or through through the, t the teams you're on? Um, I also did tutoring here at the high school and helped out kids in like chemistry and math. And uh, so did you know you went on a nine day a paleontology dig in Kansas? Yeah. <laughs> what was that like and how did, how did you end up on that? Um, one of my friends actually was interested in it, and I told her I'd go with her. So we went in a big van with a bunch of kids from our school and our science teacher to Kansas. And every day we'd wake up early, start digging, and just dig all day, find different fossils until the sun went down. <laughs> wow. It was, uh, what was that like? Uh, it was a little bonding experience, too, with some people. Yeah. Yeah. Saw a lot of, or got to diff see different sides of people spending that much time with them. And then uh, you, um, you mentioned engineering. Is that something you're interested in at Wisconsin? Yeah. Any particular field uh, of engineering? Right now I'm looking at chemical engineering, but I'm not set on one certain kind. Well, 4.0 grade, 4.11 grade point <laughs> average, and your favorite class is calculus. i say you're a pretty serious student. Yeah. yeah. And what about Madison attracted you? Is just the reputation of the university or...? Yeah, it's a great university, good engineering program. My dad went there, and some of my uncles. So you're kind of born to be a Badger, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. And I guess, uh, you think about your time at Wanakee, what are you going to remember most about uh, being here as a student and an athlete? Um, I think just the people in the, town, in the community. Everybody's been supportive, and I've made a lot of good friends here. Well, congrats on a great career, and good luck at Wisconsin. Thank you.